Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Hollow Cocoon. And if you'd like to get cocooned, the links and the details are down below in the description as usual, alright? So yeah, this is going to be a first person horror experience set in 1980s Japan at a remote rural village. I played the demo to this a couple of months ago and very much enjoyed it and I hope you'll enjoy it as well. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments by the end, alright? This is Hollow Cocoon. みなとくん。ジンバ、みなとくん。起きてください。お、君のお父さん。エイジさんからですが。ああ、there's a why are you calling so late? I think you woke up the landlady. I'm sorry. Uh, this is an emergency, though. What sort of emergency? Kinu, your grandmother. I got a call from the clinic saying she collapsed. I was at work and got the news a little late. We're not sure of her condition yet. We'll go to the clinic first thing in the morning. We? Do you really expect me to go after she skipped mum's funeral? She's got nothing to do with me. Minato. I know you don't think highly of Grand Marquini. Obviously. I know how you feel about Mum's funeral. I too cut ties with Kinu for that for over a decade. But you and I are the only relatives she has left. In fact, you're her only blood relative. Lucky me. So let's meet at Ichinose Clinic tomorrow. Okay, Dad. Right, Ichinose Clinic. In the village, Ichinose. That's the village that I'm going to. Alright. Are you a relative of Kinu Miyama? Yes. Yesterday, a delivery driver found Kinu collapsed in her garden. She was brought to our clinic. Regarding her condition, she's still unconscious. Hmm. With the equipment we have here, we're unable to do comprehensive tests. She's stabilized, but I recommend transferring her to a major hospital. I see. Thank you, Doctor. Minato, you go ahead and get some rest at Kinu's house. Here, I'll give you the key. Kinu had it on her. I have to take Kinu to a bigger hospital. I'll come pick you up later. Alright. And I couldn't come with you? Cars are only so big, I suppose. Uh, yeah, alright. And here we are on the bus to the village. That's right. So, I said it during the demo, I'll say it again. This is a very good looking game. It looks realer than real sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like I'm actually here. Actually stepping off the bus. If I didn't know any better, I'd actually think this place existed. The countryside. I should almost be at Kinu's house. Right, and off the bus goes. Let's see then. Ichinose bus stop. Yeah, we're at the right stop. Good thing this bus stops here. Otherwise, I'd have had to walk the whole way. Hmm. Yeah. What a terrible view, eh? <laughs> okay, so yeah, we can run. I don't think we can jump. We can crouch. Uh, and, and we can explore, obviously. And it looks like there's something over here to pick up. Oh, it's money, isn't it? 10 yen. Needed to play the 10 yen game. Right, yes, that game. Ah. Okay, so uh, the inventory. Here we go. Okay. Uh, so we've got our inventory slots over here. We've got a couple of keys, actually. There's grandma's key and the entrance key. It looks like my health situation at the moment is good. Files. Obviously, I haven't got any, but it looks like there's loads. Uh, there's maps as well, and I, I don't have any maps. I guess maybe I should save my money and buy a map, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't be spending it on this 10 yen game. 
Anyway, I don't think there's anything more to find here. No prompts are coming up anyway. So, I think, just over here... Yeah, here we go. This UFO one seems to be broken, but... I can play this one. It's a game where you flick a 10 yen coin into the goal. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I'll waste all my money on this thing. Okay. <laughs> it looks like I've got a few spare coins. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we need to get it into the goal at the very bottom. Okay, I, I think if we overdo it, it's going to go into one of the many holes and I'll have to start again. So far, so good! Okay, I, I really don't want to overdo this one. Ah! And I did exactly that. Okay. Goodbye, money. <laughs> Let's hope I've already got that return ticket. Okay. Oh, too far? Too short? Okay. If I can get the sweet spot, or maybe just a little less. Okay. Okay. What the? Oh, come on. So close. Oh, and then it's too far. This is infuriating, this game. And yet, I keep on sinking money into it. <laughs> I want to beat it. I really, really want to beat it. Oh, come on. Did I do it during the demo? I don't think I did, to be honest. I think I gave it one or two tries and then just moved on. Which is probably what I should do for my own mental health. Ah, come on! This is the real horror here. All right. Oh, come on, just a little bit more. I don't quite understand that, because it feels like I'm pulling it back, and yet it's not going as far. You see what I mean? All right, all right. Well, I mean, this is just one big troll, really. I think I will find some more money. Right there, okay, one more go, okay? I'm not an addict, I promise. Okay. Oh, that bit is, is just really, really hard to get through. I think, to be honest, if I go past those three holes, it's not going to be as bad. But uh, obviously that's not going to happen. Unless, of course, I find more money. Right. I'm just looking for more coins now. <laughs> oh. Oh, there you go. Don't worry, I'm not going to go back to the game quite yet. But maybe later on. Yeah. Me and you, we're not finished. Right, let's see. Anything over here? No? Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I need to go that way. But what's down here? More money? Mm. Ah, well, I don't know. It's not the way to Kinu's house. Right, okay. So, round here? I've got a... Uh, oh, there's a sign here. Don't destroy our town. Damn the dam. Okay. There's something over here on the notice board, too. This area including Ichinose Village, is planned to be a dam construction site. They're building a dam? No wonder no one lives here. Hmm. Right, so the place is more or less abandoned, it seems. Well, that's okay. Yeah. That means no one's going to want their money back, right? Let's see, anything over here? No money in the post box? No? Can I take the bottle cap? Okay, now I'm getting desperate. Right. Let's see. Uh, okay. A little bit more there. Some rubbish on the floor, but it's not money, so I don't really care. Nothing around the cart? No? I really do love the detail in this, though. It really does feel like a, a living, breathing place, as abandoned as it might be. This, I don't think, is the right place, is it? No. So we can't go in, but we can steal some money. <laughs> what about around here? Can't go in the side? No? Okay. Oh, alright. So up here there's, uh, there's a graveyard, right? Oh, sorry. There you go. Let's see. Any more money to steal? Kind of hope so, to be honest. Okay. I'm not stealing money, but I am looking at this. It's the Miyama family grave. The Miyama family, huh? So this grave belongs to Mum's family? Including Grandpa Saichi. Hmm. I think we'll find out a little bit more about him later on. 
Okay. Oh, there is money to steal. 40 yen, in fact. Not bad, eh? Right. At, oh, hang on. Oh, look at the Tory gate over there. There's someone... Okay, there's someone standing at the gate. Didn't notice that last time. There was someone there, right? Wasn't just seeing things. Huh. Okay. Right, this is where we need to be going. It's, uh, it's a big place. Hopefully, it's filled with money. Because <laughs> Lord knows I'm going to need it. Miyama. Yep, this is the place. So through we go. Here we are. My parents brought me here when Grandpa died. I haven't been here since. And I don't think much has changed. Well, we'll see about that. It's been over 10 years. Right. Okay, so escape to pause if I want to. Alright. Well, here's the entrance, obviously. And here's the letterbox. Let's see. Oh, we got some post. Oh, yeah. The letter from the village mayor. Dear Kinyu Miyama, I've recently been approached by Town Hall. They've requested that I, as the mayor, intervene and persuade you to comply with the eviction notice issued for the dam construction. I understand how truly heartbreaking it must be to have to leave the land that your ancestors had protected for generations. However, it must be acknowledged that both I and the villagers have very reluctantly accepted this project out of necessity. Considering the prosperity of the Miyama family silkworm business, I'm confident that your silkworms will continue to prosper in any new location. Perhaps it's time for you to contemplate a fresh start as well. Between us, rumour has it, whenever substantial amounts of money are involved, ill intentions come with it. It would be wise for you to make your decision quickly. Sincerely, the Mayor. Hmm. Well, she hasn't got rid of the place yet, has she? Okay, so that's one of the many files that I'll be finding. Okay. So, let's see. Let's just go around the outskirts, if possible, before we go inside. Oh, what was that? Oh, hello. Is that a flashlight? Ooh, looks like I can pick it up as well, but I'll have to go inside first. Let's see. Nothing around here? No? No money? Oh. <laughs> it's just the quest for money at this point. It's the quest to beat that damn game. Okay, we have a side gate here. Ah, that's right, it doesn't open. Must be locked from the other side. Should be able to deal with that in a moment. Right, okay. I don't think there's much else for us to do apart from go in. So, let's go in. That's right. Dan gave me the key. Okay. So, a key item. Haha. Uh, so, we've got the entrance key and grandma's key. No one knows what this one's for. Hmm. Right, well, it's the entrance key. Now, what's the other key for? Did we find out in the demo? I don't think we did. Here we are, then. We're in. Uh, I'm exhausted and haven't slept in over 24 hours. I'm going to rest a bit until Dad picks me up. Right, okay. What have we got down here? Oh, money! Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, this is a light switch, I think. But no need to switch it on. No, it's not like it's dark or anything. Uh, right, let's see. There's, uh, there's a flashlight not too far away, right? Kind of want that first. All right. And there's the phone. Hmm, okay. Seems I can actually call someone, but I don't actually know who I'm going to be dialing, so maybe when I find a number, I'll come back to this. Looks like there's a little cupboard underneath as well. Now the screws have gone rusty and the door won't open. Ah! Okay. What we got here? Uh, order some sum again. Oh, right. Yeah, this stuff is, uh, it's, it's like, um, it's a health drink. It's, it's grandma's painkillers. Used to restore HP and stamina. Cool. Right. And it's hard to use it. Okay. Got something up here. The Miyama family crest. Ah, oh, we can zoom. Lovely. Kind of wish I did that at the gate outside. More painkillers? More painkillers. Okay. Let's see then. Round here. There it is. There's my boy. There is a flashlight, you're right. You're not going to pick it up? 
Right, for the same reason that you're not going to flick the lights on, I suppose. Because you don't need to yet. Okay, well, uh, as soon as it gets dark, that's where I'm going. Okay. Yeah, I assume this isn't going to work either. Yeah, no need to switch it on. Oh, that's right, okay, yep, yeah, there are some hiding places. We are going to have to hide. Alright. Let's see. More money? More money, less problems. Okay, something down here? Alright. Oh, okay. It's a letter from me to my grandpa, to my awesome grandpa Saichi. Hi there, how are you? I hope you're super good. I'm a big boy in elementary school now. I go to school every day to learn cool stuff like reading and math. It's fun, but sometimes hard too. I have a really big favour to ask you, Grandpa. Could you please buy me a bug collection kit? Mum won't buy me one. She says bugs are not toys and we shouldn't catch them or hurt them. All my friends have one and I'm left out. Oh, and Grandpa, when are you coming to my house again? I've never met Grandma and I really, really want her to come with you. It would be so much fun. You know, I feel a little bit sad when you have to leave. I ask Mum every day when you'll come back. She says you live far away so we can't see each other a lot. But I really can't wait to see you again. Please write back soon. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Oh, this takes me back. I just learned how to write. In the end, he never replied back. Never got the chance, huh? Would these be mine as well? Uh, yep. A picture drawn by me as a child. Not like a couple of days ago, thankfully. I love my grandpa. Oh, you're just so sweet. <laughs> Alright. So is that it? I think so. Okay, so what do we got here? Oh? Oh, an old picture. Huh. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. We're going to take that with us. Okay, we've got various portraits up here. It's Grandpa Saichi's portrait. If it weren't for that incident, it'd still be with us today. And if he hadn't died, maybe Mum would have lived. Hmm. Okay. We have a little shrine here. It's an altar. Should I light incense now that I'm here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's light the incense. It seems like the right thing to do. I'm sure it's not. <laughs> I'm probably going to get punished for it, but, uh, well, we're doing it. Alright. Grandpa Saichi died by falling into a well. He was very wise and very kind. He was a good grandfather. Kini knew how much Grandpa meant to us. Yet, she didn't tell anyone, even my mum, her own daughter, about his death. When mum found out Grandpa died, she went down a depressive spiral. And then, she too... How could my own grandmother be so heartless? Hmm. Maybe she was partly responsible? That's, I think, what I suspected in the demo, and yeah, I, I wouldn't be terribly surprised. Yeah. Right, so what else have we got around here? Anything else? That just goes back out to the corridor? Okay. All right. Seems like there's a door in every wall in this game. Okay. What are we on here, then? Alright, so there's the kitchen through there, but... Right, let's be pretty methodical about this. What's through here first? Okay. Something in here? Money? Is it? Oh, it's money! Yes! It's money! Brilliant. Okay. Alright. Ah, okay. This is a silkworm shelf. Dad told me the Miyamas quit the silkworm business a long time ago. Maybe that's why Kini raised silkworms here and told me about them as a kid. That was the only time I spoke to Kini. She creeped me out. Hmm. Okay. 
That's what we're gonna find. Nothing back here? No? Okay. Alright. Okay, so yeah, next up, I think we should have a look at the kitchen. Let's see. Something down here. Money! Lots of money! 40 more yen. Thank you very much. Right. Okay. It looks like there's uh, something written on the blackboard up here. My grandmother's daily schedule from waking up to bedtime. Look for dresser key lost in baths. Ah, right. There's a dresser key in the baths? Good to know. Good to know. Alright, what we got here? I'm thirsty again. Okay. We're gonna get a drink of water, are we? Okay. Feel better now? Why do I keep on getting so thirsty? Because oh, you're alive? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. I mean, we do require quite a lot of water, don't we? Oh, and dead chickens. Yeah, forgot about that. Uh, yeah, thankfully, I'm not hungry, so we're going to leave that there. Not even going to check the freezer, probably for the best, to be honest. Through here? Oh, yeah, this is going to take us outside, I think. Nothing to interact with over here. Here we are. Okay, so yeah, that side gate that I couldn't open. Let's see. It's because of this. Okay. So, I'm removing that. And opening a little bit of a shortcut. For better or worse. Hopefully for the better. Right. Well, now we're out here, we might as well have a little look around. Let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. It's not just dead chickens. We've got live chickens as well. And this, I think, is the well. Grandpa died by falling into this well. And it was apparently an accident. Apparently. Hmm. Probably best it's closed up. Okay. Hey there, guys. How's it going? You got any money for me? Oh! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Wait, did... You actually do. Okay, there's an egg, but I don't really care about the egg. It's, uh, <laughs> it's the money. Thank you very much. I'm so sorry for kicking you. You know what? I feel I should, I should give you the 10 yen back. Right, the egg? Oh, this is going to permanently raise my defense. It's still warm. Okay. Uh, yeah, why not? Use? Right. <laughs> it's so good. All right. Let's see then. Oh, oh. Hold on. Right. Oh, oh, oh ah, okay. I've got to stop kicking chickens. Really. This is becoming a thing now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There's dead ones around here, uh, as well as another game. Okay. Was that in the demo? I don't know if it was. To be honest. What we got here? A poker and dead chickens are scattered about. What on earth? Did Grandma do this? Or someone else? Hmm. Seems unnecessarily brutal, really. Right. Yeah, I don't I don't think I actually gave this a go. Look, I've got 150 yen. Maybe I was getting screwed over by the other game, because it's just kind of unwinnable. Maybe this one's winnable. Let's see. Okay. Alright. Oh, that was close! This one, it seems, is a bit more luck-based. I'm gonna waste all my money on this one now, aren't I? Oh! Hey! Ah! I won! Okay. Shared between save files. Right, well... Okay. What do I use the winning tickets with? Huh. Okay. Well, hey, this game has been bested, so I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna save my money for, uh... for another game. Hmm. I'm curious about the tickets. Right, okay. Well, I'm glad I had a look around the back. So, let's see. Anything over here? Nothing noteworthy? No more dead chickens? Or live ones? No? Just a view into the house. Uh, into an unexplored area of the house, actually. So, yeah. Let's go back around to that side door and continue our exploration. Okay. Right, let's shut that up. Uh, nothing down there. No, okay. 
Through we go again. So we went through there. Right here. Okay. I think we'll this is where we want to be. Yeah, I can get some rest here. So this is actually where I'm going to finish my exploration. What's this? A letter from Yui. Number one. Okay, dear dad, how are you doing? Uh, the other day, my husband, the Eiji, and I attended Minato's entrance ceremony. Under the warm spring sunshine, watching him walk with that big backpack, I couldn't help but feel proud of our son. Eiji was teasing Minato, saying, He looks like a giant backpack with legs, to which I couldn't help but smile too. He always makes us laugh with his jokes. As for me, I'm still the same as always. I feel a little better after drinking water. I still can't bring myself to tell Eiji about my situation, and it tugs at my heart. I wonder how long I can keep this secret. I've spent many sleepless nights wondering, afraid of what'll happen if he finds out. How's mum doing, by the way? There are times when Minato begs me to see his grandma, and I struggle to find the right words to say. I don't think she'll be very happy if we come to see her. Why does mum dislike me so much? It breaks my heart to think that the rest of the family is being shunned because of me. If only I had the courage to confront mum about this. I'm sorry for constantly venting to you. I know I shouldn't worry you, but I'm a coward who quickly relies on her father. Whenever I hear your voice or read your letters, it gives me peace of mind. I'll write again soon. Please take care of yourself and stay safe. Nice. A letter from mum to grandpa. My situation? Yeah, what was she talking about? Ah, okay. The mystery deepens. Let's see. Is this working? Oh, seems like it is. Ah, weather information. Okay, let's see. The wind will strengthen from the west. Temperatures will be lower than usual this time of year. Okay. You may feel a chill outside. And inside, potentially. I don't like the way her mouth isn't moving. It feels kind of analog horror y. <laughs> Alright, anything else? Ooh, okay. Oh, UFOs. Oh, wow. Okay, no, this is too spooky. <laughs> okay. Drive! I'm not gonna let him drive. Okay, was that a Komodo dragon in a car? I, I don't really understand the connection, honestly, unless the, the car's called Komodo or something. Let's see. Alright, oh. Ooh. A story from when I was in elementary school? Okay, go on. Scary stories you don't know. The call from Mary. Okay, I'm gonna sit around for this one. In my elementary school, there was a cute and popular girl named Hanako. Alright. For her birthday, Hanako's parents brought her a new doll. After getting the new doll, Hanako no longer needed her old cherished doll, Mary. Oh, poor Mary. She threw Mary away. That evening, Hanako received a phone call, and when she answered... Hi, I'm Mary. I'm by the dumpster. Ooh. Terrified, Hanako hung up the phone, but soon it rang again. With trepidation, she answered. Hi, I'm Mary. I'm at the tobacco shop. Okay. Yeah, I'd probably start smoking in her situation. With each call, it seemed Mary was getting closer to Hanako's home. And then... Hi, I'm Mary. I'm at the entrance. Oh dear. From that day on, Hanako went missing. Was that it? That was the end? That was the scary story that we didn't know? Okay. <laughs> right. It's probably best that we just turn it off, to be honest. Okay, right. Yeah, we're not going to rest quite yet. We're going to continue exploring. I think this way. Yeah, let's see. I, ah, ah, right. I think this is how we save, isn't it? Yeah, there's a creepy talisman on the wall. 
Now that I think about it, when I came here as a kid, just looking at the talisman, my mum would feel sick. Very sick. Hmm. I wonder why. Something to do with the situation, maybe? Looking at this talisman's making me... Making you what? Making you want to save, of course. Okay, uh, yeah, sure, why not? There we go. Okay, good stuff. Ah. Oh, even better. More money. There you go. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah. There's going to be various save points throughout the house. Alright. Something over here? More money. But that's about it. Okay. Oh, we're on a roll. I'm growing my fortune at this point. Okay. More of the painkillers as well. Ah. Ah, hold on. Let me just jump in here. Is there something down there? There's something in the drain. Right. Can we just, like, wash it away? Here we go. Right. Is that helping at all? Hmm. I don't think it is, is it? I, I, I think I'm going to need something else. Yeah, I'll have to come back when I find that something. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. So, moving on. Alright. So, past this room. This is the area that we had a look through the window to. That's right. Okay. What do we got down here? What was that? Is there someone in the attic, maybe? Sounded like someone was walking around. Am I... am I alone? Hmm. Anyway, it seems like this dresser drawer is locked. And I think it's the dresser key that's in the bath. So, yeah, it's not that mysterious key that I've got. Is this another place to... Right, this is another place to hide. Yeah. What am I hiding from, exactly? Okay, something here? Oh. Oh, Saichi's response to... To me as a kid. Dear Minato, thank you for the letter. I was so surprised to see you wrote it all by yourself. You did a great job. Grandpa appreciates it. So, your mum won't buy you a bug collection kit, eh? You know, when I was young, I used to collect butterflies too. But someone once told me too to not hurt them. That's when I decided to stop catching butterflies. Instead, I decided to just watch them as they live and allow them to stay a part of the beauty of nature. I can't buy you a bug collection kit, but how about this? When summer comes, I'll take you to a place where there are plenty of butterflies and dragonflies. Grandma's busy with housework, so she can't come along. But let's have lots of fun together, just you and Grandpa. Whenever we have to say goodbye, it always makes me feel a little sad. But before you go, I'll give you a good pat on the head and whisper a little magic spell to keep you happy until the next time we meet. I'll miss you, but I have to help Grandma with some things. So please be good and do as you're told. I promise I'll come to see you in the summer. Grandpa. So you did reply. Or tried to, at least. Just before you could mail it, you... Took a tumble down the well, I guess. Oof. Well, that's not going to stop me stealing his money. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. It's a big, big place. There's yet more to explore. In here? Okay. Alright, so we got the, the toilets? Mm-hmm, alright. And some more painkillers for, uh, yeah, those troubling toilet experiences. Round here? Ooh. Very mysterious. Okay. Oh, I, I never got through here in the demo, did I? There's a lock on it. It's got a dial lock. Yeah, okay. They wouldn't let me in this room when I came in before. wonder why. Ah, I can't even attempt it. I, I, I guess I need to know the code. Hmm, okay. We can't go back around there? No, I don't think so. Okay, I think I've explored the whole place now. Or at least, I think so. So, yeah. Let's rest. As I said, you know, half an hour ago. I'm exhausted! <laughs> Should I rest until night? Yeah, I'm gonna rest until night.
Yeah, what's through that door? Hmm. Is that my grandpa? Ooh. Did grandma have something to do with it? I don't know. Yeah, mum didn't take it very well, did she? Grandma? Grandma Kinu? What's that? That's a silkworm. We have to raise silkworms with great care. You have to keep them in a warm room and feed them plenty of mulberry leaves. Once they've made their beautiful cocoons, we boil them alive and take their silk. Wonderful. Do you feel bad for them? Even if they could leave their cocoon, they no longer have mouths, nor can they fly. They just lay eggs and die. And humans are the reason they've become like this. Good job, guys. Oh. Is that mom? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe resting wasn't such a good idea after all. Minato. Yes? Oh, whoa! <gasps> Did that happen in the demo? I don't remember that. Holy crap! Right, well, hey. Uh, yeah, it, it wasn't exactly the, the best night's sleep that I ever got, but I did rest until night. <sighs> and yeah, thankfully it was just a dream. I haven't dreamt about Mum in a long time. Wow. Okay. It's dark now. Better turn on the light. Right, okay. Uh, here? There we go. Now I've got a reason to. I can do it. Which probably means I can actually go and get that flashlight too, right? Let's see. Let's just go in every room and, and turn the lights on, yeah? Okay. Uh, is there a, a light switch for the, the corridor as well? This hallway? That'd be nice. It's very, very dark. Uh, let's see. Here? Yeah, okay. So we got that lit up. That's good. But the hallway is still so very dark. It's got to be around here somewhere. Wait, is that it? Nope, that's the door. <laughs> there we go. Is that, like, all the light? The hell was that? It's from the entrance. Is that you, Dad? Uh, I guess it could be. Well, there's the entrance, right? Alright, let's get the light on. Okay. Actually, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna turn the lights on first. I'm gonna go get that flashlight first, just in case. Uh... Where is it? Over here. Alright. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit spookier during the night, isn't it? Okay. And around here? There it is. There's a flashlight. Which you still don't want to pick up? Oh my god. Okay, alright. <laughs> Third time's the charm, maybe. Yeah, maybe next time I can pick it up. Yeah. Is it Dad? Let's see. That's not Dad. Hmm. Where's the rest of it? What the hell is this? Oh. Okay. Right. Anything in here? No one left anything while I was asleep? Okay, close the door. Close the door. <laughs> Let's get to that phone, shall we? Right. Right. 
Hello? Oh, this is Dad. Yeah, Minato, it's your father. Oh, it's you, Dad. Where are you now? Uh, when are you getting here? Sorry about this, but I don't think I can get back tonight. I'm at the main hospital now. It seems like this is quite the situation. I had to speak to the police. Oh. The police? Why the police? Kinu collapsing may not have been an accident or illness. The doctors found what looks like strangulation marks around her neck. Hmm. So then, someone attacked her? We're not sure yet. But it's better not to err on the side of caution. Hmm. Minato. Are you okay being by yourself? Of course! I'm not a kid anymore! He lies. Alright then. Be careful. I will. Night, Dad. Right. Yeah, be careful, he says. I'll try. Oh, I'm thirsty again. I'll get some water from the kitchen. Just a coincidence, I'm sure. Right. Did I see this as part of the dream? Is this mum? Yeah, this person looks like mum. Hmm. Okay. Right, let's see. The kitchen is over here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. Turn everything on. There we go. <laughs> and there's a light in this side, on this side as well. Good stuff. Okay. Right. So, water? Let's go get some water. All right. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> what was that? That is the reason your dad told you to be careful. That's a really good reason to stay inside tonight. Right, okay. I I don't think that's locked, is it? Because I don't think it can lock. Hmm. Right, so that chicken outside was another chicken. No one snuck in to grab this chicken and then just, like, behead it. Good, good, good. I think I have to go outside. I have to investigate. I have to do the dumb thing here. I shouldn't have left that side gate open, should I? Oh. Hi! Who's this? I don't think it's Grandma. I... Uh, uh, she likes chickens. She's got the same kind of markings as a silkworm as well. Oh boy. I'm so sorry, I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh god, yeah. Right, this, this is new. This is actually where the demo ended. So, yeah, this is, this is going to be a blind playthrough from here on in, okay? What was that? What? Oh, come on, I, I just turned the lights on. Right. I gotta find the light and call for help. Okay, the flashlight? Okay, and now we've got to run from enemies. Okay, so, yeah, it's going to consume stamina on some difficulties. I'm playing it on normal, so it is going to consume stamina. Uh, okay. It seems like I can crouch. I can sort of stealth around enemies a little bit. There are some hiding places, like closets. Okay. Um, I can lean with Q and E, and I can actually look back with middle mouse button. Oh, that's nice! Okay, right. Okay, well, hey. Let's very quickly run through here, and let's go and get that flashlight, right? Here we go, got it. Right. Good stuff. I have to call for help somehow. Okay, well, how about using the phone? Oh, oh god. Is this safe? Okay, maybe maybe we should hide. Ah. Oh, for the police dial. Okay, one, one, zero. One, one. Oh, this is taking too long. Zero. 
Man. Come on, come on. She sounded really close. She might just be right outside. Oh! Hello? Help! Oh, oh crap. Hi! Who are you? I'm Minato. Oh, okay, yep. Okay, we've gotta we've gotta get the fuck out of here. We've, we've got. Okay, run. Run. Run, run, run. Where the fuck am I running? Where do I hide? Where do I hide? Where do I hide? Uh, right, not there, not there. Okay, in here? Uh, okay. <laughs> Thankfully, I remembered where one of them was. Oh, man. Oh, okay, she's pretty fucking fast. Hey. Could you go back outside and finish the chicken? That might be for the best. Yeah. Whew, okay. Wow. Is she gone? She... Sounds like she's going into a bit of a sprint. Where the... Right, I don't exactly know where she went, but I think she's gone. At least for now. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Right, are we are we going to try the phone again? <laughs> Maybe, you know, second time's the charm. Where did she go? She probably went this way, right? Maybe she Okay, maybe she went out the front door. Maybe I should do the same. Yeah. Okay. Right. What's going on? Ah, oh, damn, it won't open. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, we're in here for uh, a little while longer, it seems. Oh. This is an important number. Please don't forget it. Looks like a number was written here, but it's been ripped out. There are faint marks on the paper. Grandma's key? No, that's not going to work. An important number. Could that be the code for that dial lock, do you think? Maybe. Maybe. Right. What else has changed? That's fallen down. So there's nothing I can do with that? Right. As she was chasing me, did she, like, wreck anything else? Hmm. Let's see. Am I gonna go back out here? I maybe, maybe I should go and check the chicken. You know? This seems like a really dumb idea. Okay, she's she's not eating the chicken. She she didn't open the well. Where are the other chickens? Probably running for their lives, honestly. Right. Nothing else in there? No more eggs? Okay. Around here? Right, well, she was the one responsible for these guys, right? There's the poker. Wow, which I, I can now pick up, I see. Okay. Uh, it's for raking out ashes and cinders. Maybe for other things as well. I, uh, I, I do wonder if maybe I'm meant to use the poker with the bathtub, right? To get the dresser key? Yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's try that. Let's try that. Where did she go? Is she still around? Is she still a threat? I'm not sure. As I said, this this wasn't in the demo. The, the, the demo ended by now, so this is all new. Right. Okay. This way? She might be, like, standing still, just being very, very quiet, and I don't know. But what I do know is that I'm gonna try this, okay? So, the poker. It's working! Right, this this is gonna be the dresser key, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the dresser key that Grandma lost. I'm very grateful that she actually put that on the board, so I knew where it was. Um, the dresser itself wasn't actually too far away from where I woke up, where I was hiding, right? Just around here? 
Where the fuck is she? <sighs> right. Okay. The dresser key? Yep. It's working. Alright. Inside, there's a pencil. Which I'm going to take back to the phone, right? Maybe we can figure out what that number is with the pencil. So that was all for a pencil, really? I thought it was going to be something a bit more important than that, to be honest. And I still don't really know where to use this key. This mysterious key. God damn, where the fuck is she? Right. Okay, so the pencil? Uh-huh. Maybe we're going to see a light impression of what it is. Okay, eight. Eight, eight, nine, three, four. Right. Eight, nine, three, four. Okay. So that's going to be round here, isn't it? Oh, shit. She's outside. She's outside. So she is still lurking around. I've just been avoiding her, thankfully. God damn. Right. She's probably looking for more chickens, honestly. There's some around the back, some you killed earlier but haven't eaten yet. Enjoy! Right. Eight, nine, three, four. Yes? Eight, nine, three, four. Let's go. Come on. Okay. Eight, nine, three, four. It works. Okay, so this is the door that I, I was never able to go through. Oh. Oh, shit. Here she comes. Okay. Right. Can we... Yeah, yeah. Push that in front. Come on. Yep. Okay, that works too. Ooh. Ooh! Okay, uh, she's strong, yeah. Holy shit. Okay. Is she leaving? Is it gone? Uh, I hope so. Maybe she's gonna try and find another way in, though. Right. What the hell was that? Oh, oh, the light's working in here. Was Kinu attacked by that thing too? Well, yeah, maybe, maybe. Money, money. <laughs> Last thing on my mind right now, honestly. <sighs> I can't even get back to the street to play that game, so, right. What's this? A letter from the doctor to Mrs. Kinu Miyama. I'm writing to inform you about the results of your examination at our clinic. Based on the diagnostic images obtained from the x-ray, we've identified an abnormality in your cranial region that appears to be a brain tumour. The symptoms you've been experiencing, such as your headaches and severe forgetfulness, are likely related to this tumour. It's important to address this condition promptly. The tumour requires quick and immediate treatment. It's important to note that your memory may continue to deteriorate, and the painkillers you've been taking will only provide limited relief. I strongly advise you to discuss this matter with your family and make arrangements to visit our clinic as soon as possible. Right. Okay. Butterflies? Ah, is this one of Grandpa's samples? He sure loved butterflies. He sat me on his lap and talked about them all the time. Hmm. Right. Something down here? Uh, Saichi's response to Yui, okay. Uh, thank you for your letter. Kinu and I are doing just fine. So, Minato's entered elementary school, eh? My. How time flies. It feels like just yesterday he was a baby. I can't help but think maybe it's because I'm getting older. More than anything, how close you are to your family warms my heart. Yui, when you're thirsty, remember what I told you. Try not to hold it. This burden's not your fault, after all. You feel guilty for keeping something hidden from Eiji, but you're afraid of telling him also? Eiji's a kind man. Otherwise, I would never have given him my blessing. Whenever you're ready to tell him, I'm sure AEG will accept you for who you are. What are they alluding to here? For years, you've been worried that Kinu doesn't like you. Kinu didn't attend your wedding and didn't care when she became a grandmother. But Kinu's like this with everyone, including me. 
She never leaves that house under any circumstance. It may be difficult for you to understand, but Kini could never be a good mother or grandmother. That's why I took you out of the house and moved us into town. I still feel guilty for giving you that feeling of emptiness from lacking a mother, despite having one. I'm not asking you to forgive Kinu for her behaviour, but I want you to understand that Kinu has her own reasons. I was so happy when Aiji asked me to leave Kinu and come live with you three. It brought a tear to my eye. Thanks to him, I was able to return to the Miyama house where Kinu is with a clear conscience. Now you have Aiji and Minato. There's no need for me to be by your side. I've left Kinu alone for a long time. She's a strong woman, but as she grows older, I want to give her my support. Remember this well. You, you're my pride and joy. Whenever you're in trouble or feeling anxious, you can always rely on me for whatever. Until I fall down a well. Or until I was pushed down a well, potentially. Something over here? Oh, okay. What we got here? Ah, same again. Right, okay. So, through here? Ooh. Okay. Where's this? And what's that? Oh, I, okay. The, the place gets even bigger, it seems. Also, is she out here? Uh. Is that a storage shed? Looks like a pretty big fucking storage shed. Huh. Well, whatever it is, we're about to have a look. Okay. Feels like this hasn't been opened in quite a long time. Big, heavy doors. And here's yet another one. Oh. Oh, is this what it's for? Oh, this mysterious key. No one knows what it unlocks. It unlocks this, this storage shed. And another area by the looks of it. Okay. Oh, I'm liking this. Okay, right. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's see. Oh, this. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Right, yeah. I guess I've got some money. I could try it again. Dear Kinu Miyama, I hope this letter finds you well. This is Aiji Jimba. It's been quite some time since the untimely passing of my beloved wife Yui. Today, I'm reaching out to you with a few inquiries regarding my son Minato, who's now 13 years old. Minato is starting attending middle school this year, and I wanted to share something I've noticed with you. Since the summer, he's been getting unusually thirsty and consumes a substantial amount of water. Initially, I thought it was the hot weather and didn't think much of it. However, as autumn passed and winter came, he was still constantly thirsty, prompting me to seek medical advice. However, the doctor found nothing wrong with him. Thinking back, I recall that Yui also had a tendency to drink a lot of water. Before her passing, I discussed it with her. She mentioned that this was something she inherited from her father. She assured me that there was no need to worry. I'm curious to know if your husband mentioned anything about this predisposition. If you have any knowledge regarding this matter, I'd greatly appreciate your answer. I eagerly await your response. So it's about the amount of water that we're drinking? So that's why I get so thirsty. It's genetic. Passed on from mum and grandpa. Weird. Yeah, very weird. Something around here? Oh. Oh, is that- Oh, there's another save point here! Okay, cool. We'll use that in a sec. Alright. What's this? Oh. Okay. A hanging scroll depicting a woman buried in a garden. Odd. Okay. What's this? Ah, oh, it won't open. And there's no keyhole or lock in sight. Hmm. Okay. And there's some stairs. Hold on. If I just go back through, can I go up? Right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this a separate save, and I'm going to come back to this to best this game once and for all. <laughs> Alright. What's up here? Okay. Alright, let's see. Oh, is that another one? It's another one. A hawk scroll this time. A hanging scroll depicting a woman and a hawk. 
That's two of them I found now. Am I going to find another? I'm going to find more painkillers. Actually, how am I doing after being kind of throttled? I'm still good. I'm still surprisingly good. Seems I don't need to use it quite yet. Oh? Does that say winter? Ah, right. Okay, so there's one there. Oh, this is one of the hanging scrolls? Okay. Um, let's remove this one. Yeah. Okay, so I've got a third. So, winter, autumn, is that summer and spring? Summer and spring. I think we're looking for one more. Okay. What have we got here, then? The Legend of Princess Mayu. Okay. Once upon a time, there lived a princess named Princess Mayu, adorned with beauty untold. Beneath the spring moon's glow, Princess Mayu's sister, consumed by envy's woe, led her to a fearsome mountain where lions roamed free, leaving her stranded, a perilous decree. Yet to their surprise, Princess Mayu returned home, her spirit unbroken and her body whole. As the summer moon shimmered above, Princess Mayu's sister, driven by envy's love, guided her to a shadowy mountain steep, where hawks flocked, secrets to keep. But again, Princess Mayu defled her fate, returning unscathed through destiny's gate. With autumn's moon shining bright, the sister's patience reached its height. She set Princess Mayu adrift on a boat. To a distant sea, the princess was afloat. Yet, as the night embraced the land, Princess Mayu returned, defying her sister's hand. <laughs> Under winter's moon, fear took hold. The sister's heart, now bitter and cold, she led Princess Mayu to a garden wide, digging a hole deep and dark inside. On that night, the princess did not appear. The sister worried, though her conscience clear. Within the hole which she peered through, lay a cocoon with a hole and tiny white worms askew. Curious. Okay. So, it's a very basic puzzle. It seems that spring is going to be lion, summer is going to be hawk, autumn is going to be the boat one, winter is going to be garden. We're missing one, though. We're missing one. Mum read that to me as a kid once. I couldn't sleep that night. Whoa! <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I don't think I'll be sleeping tonight either, to be honest. Jesus, okay, what we got? That's number four, isn't it? And that's gonna be the lion, okay. Right, okay, so... It's spring to winter, it's right to left, isn't it? So, spring, yeah, that's gonna be the lion. Uh-huh. And then summer, that would be the hawk. Uh, to be honest, I probably could have left this one here. Boat scroll goes there. And then finally, there's the garden. Like that. The sound? Is it from below? Ah, it's probably that door, isn't it? Yeah. The door with no handle or keyhole. Are we safe? I, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, just in case, I, I I might save. Let's just overwrite this one. There you go. Right. Yeah, it's open. Okay. Alright. What are we going to find through here? More money. Lovely. Hmm. How big is this place, really? Because we were just seeing the facade, weren't we? Oh, wow. Okay. Is this where this uh, silkworm woman's been living? Hmm. I assume she was the one that strangled my grandma, right? Alright. It's an old mine shaft, right? What on earth? Okay. What is this? There's a cage or a cell. With more money. Okay. <laughs> a plea from the dungeon. Lord Cube, please forgive me. I've seen nothing. I've told no one. My lips shall remain sealed. I promise to serve the Miyama family forever and ever. So please, let me leave this place. I too am a human being. Please do not use my flesh as a meal for that creature. Oh boy. How long has she been here? Oh, okay. The mystery is deepening. 
It's just growing and growing. I'm liking this. Yeah, I'm liking this a great deal. Okay. And now we're going up. Back into the house? Uh, maybe somewhere into town. I don't know. Okay. It's a dead end, he says. Alright, well, looks like there's something here at least. The Miyama Silkworm Records. Okay. The Miyama family's livelihood through the generations revolves around safeguarding the silkworms and selling their eggs. Miyama silkworm threads possess a remarkable combination of luster and flexibility. The exceptionally beautiful silk produced by the Miyama silkworms earned the nickname Thread of the Heavens and enjoyed much prosperity. Legend has it that Miyama silkworms originated from silkworms found sprouting from the body of Princess Mayu. These silkworms have been cherished and revered as family heirlooms. The female silkworm moth serves as the crest of the Miyama family. Right, so that's what it is. A am I? Am I getting hunted and chased by a princess then? Is that who she is? Right. Hmm. Okay, hold on. There's something over here. More money. Anything in here? It doesn't seem like it. Oh. Right, I'm I'm hearing noises from above or I don't know, maybe through the wall? There's some wind blowing through here. Could this wall be or maybe it's not a wall. It's not. It's a door. I knew it. A secret passageway. Okay. Should I proceed? Uh yes, of course. <laughs> I think I'm in too deep to go back at this point. Alright. I'm enjoying this a great deal. I don't know whether to wrap it up now and continue this later or just see if I can do the entire game in one video. I want to see if I can do it in one video. Yeah, let's go with that. Right, what we got down here? The Red Talisman is a protective charm used in the region from ancient times. It's made by dyeing paper with a crimson colour, believed to repel demons and drawing symbolic characters in black ink. The exact meaning of the symbols is unknown. It's speculated that they represent the sun deity, as sunlight is believed to purify their negative energies. According to the village legend, when a demon approaches the talisman, it immediately emits a radiant light, torturing the demon as it's exercised. Right, it emits a light that tortures it. That's pretty handy. Okay. Well, I'm glad there's so many of them around then. Okay. What's with this talisman? My head feels like it's about to explode. Really? Maybe I shouldn't be saving so often. Maybe there's a punishment for that. Yeah. I don't usually save in horror games that much, to be honest, so... Oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, this is a picture of Ayano. I thought that was my mum. Ayano, who died November 13th, 1930, quite a long time ago. 50 or so years ago, I think this is set in the 80s, right? So, huh. Okay. It's the same portrait that's in Kinu's house. Ayano? Ayano? Who's Ayano? Hmm. Alright. Let's see, anything around here? You got anything around here? No? Yeah, what is this place? And where is this place? Oh, are we still underground? I... Hmm, I don't think so. Oh boy. Hi. Princess? Ayano, maybe? Could you just stay there? Alright. There we go. Right, so, what have we got here? More money? Oh, the Miyama family tree, actually. Okay, so, let's see. Oh, yeah, Ayano is uh, Kinu's older sister. Curious. I, I, I don't think we've heard about Ayano before, right? Why is she such a secret? Is it because she's... She's... She's her? Hmm. Alright. This is crazy. Alright, so what we got here? 
Oh my god! Feels like we've barely begun! So this is the Miyama Mansion. Right. Oh, and there's more floors as well. There's there's a second floor. Okay, so there's two floors. The first floor and the second floor. The second floor, thankfully, isn't that large. But man, the first floor's huge! Right, okay, so there's the toilet. We came out of the storage shed. There's a well, a shrine, altar room, library, kitchen, baths, another toilet? Crowbar closet? You got a closet just for crowbars? I'm impressed. So this is the old Miyama residence. Oh, shit. Flint. An ignition tool. Used by hitting hammer and stone. Okay. We're gonna set fire to the place? <laughs> Maybe we should set fire to her. Let's see. Ah, right, okay, yeah, somewhere to hide. I should look out for that symbol, really. I think if I see that, that means I'm gonna dive in there. Okay. What about down here? Surely I'm not gonna hide in here. But I am gonna find some painkillers. Which are probably past their best, honestly. Yeah. Something here? Oh, Saichi's journal, okay. I've been fortunate enough to have been accepted as the son-in-law of the Mayama family. My father and brother had always looked down on me, considering me weak and spineless. However, in the eyes of Lord Kube, I'm a loyal, trustworthy man. We've exchanged vows and I eagerly await the joyful ceremony next spring. Ever since I laid eyes on her, Ayano's figure had been etched in my mind. Ayano, not Kinu, right. Her skin, lightly glowing, and her sleek, shiny black hair. She often averts her gaze, but even the shadow cast by her long eyelashes on her cheeks is beautiful. I wanted to get Ayano's attention by any means necessary, so I decided to show her my collection of butterfly samples. I hoped that the colourful butterflies would bring her joy. Ayano said, I've never seen such beautiful butterflies before, but her expression was that of melancholy. When I asked her if she disliked butterflies, she replied, I like butterflies, however, I don't like seeing them trapped and confined. I just want to watch them fly in their natural state. Her words struck me to my core. This was written by Grandpa when he was young. And now you know why he told you the same thing when you were a kid. Or tried to, at least. Right, so is this a toilet? Okay. Yeah, looks like a toilet, alright. <laughs> alright. Around here? Uh-huh, okay. Number ones and number twos, I suppose. Let's see. So this is going to take us out to a, a, a rather large area and a well. Where does this go? Is this like the entrance? Hmm. Maybe I can get out of here that way. Oh shit. Oh boy, that's not good. That isn't good. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Right. Hide, 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 hide. Oh. Oh, she saw! Oh, hi! Hi! Ayano, is it? Lovely to meet you! I, oh, okay, right, I think I'm gonna need those painkillers. Maybe not the out-of-date ones. Okay, this way? Uh, right, okay, let's see. Okay, we're gonna get a really quick tour of the place. Okay, right, let's see. Uh, through here? Close it. Close it. Oh, bl oh bloody hell! Okay, use the healing item, quick. Right. I don't know where the fuck I'm going! Right. This is the crowbar closet. Hide in the cro- Oh, come on. It- Ah. Oh. Right. Oh, shit. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. I'm just chugging these things at this point. Right. There's one place I know where to hide. There's one place I know where to hide, and she's found me in it already, but I've got to try it again, surely. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, she didn't see me enter this time. She's out there, though. Oh, my God. Right. So, where the hell did we go? We went through here, around to the crowbar closet. We, okay. Oof. There are a couple of doors there. There was actually a staircase I could have used. Man, okay. I guess that's where we're going next. Okay. Ooh. She can be really fast. She just goes into a sprint occasionally. Okay, right. 
so let's see around here gingerly I go again hello right there's a well why is there a well here there's got to be a reason Oh, okay, something's floating in the murky water down there, uh, and I don't think I want to ignite the rope, so, right. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna need- I'm gonna need something to lower to pick that up, presumably. It's missing its bucket. Okay, this, I think, is the old entrance? It's a giant door with two locks for wooden keys. Or is it? It is, okay, I can't burn the door, right. Honestly, where where was this? I, it can't be that far away from the village, but I guess, I don't know, maybe it's like hidden in a valley somewhere? Right, we got anything over here? What's this? Oh, that was somewhere to hide? Okay. Uh, there's a shrine just out of reach. I'm not gonna burn that. Huh, okay. Alright. So, through here, there's something down here. Another letter. Okay, dear mum. It's been several months since Dad passed away, and not a day goes by without a box of tissues by my side. When I came to offer my condolences, I couldn't come to term with Dad's death. I, I couldn't even speak with you, Mum. Why didn't you tell us right away? You didn't even invite our family to the funeral. If we hadn't reached out, you wouldn't have bothered to tell us at all. Dad was an important role model for me, and I wanted to give him a final farewell. I was weak and always hid behind Dad. I was scared to talk to you, Mum. I feared you'd say, I hate you. But now that Dad's gone, I can't go on like this anymore. I need to speak with you in person, Mum. There's something I must ask you. On September 21st, I'll come alone without telling Aiji or Minato. I don't expect a response to this letter. I've written to you many times before, Mum, and you've never ever replied. I've been waiting a long time now. See you on September 21st. That's the day Mum died. Hmm. Mum had gone to see Kuni that day? Apparently. Right. Money. Okay. Let's see. Again, I'm wondering, where did she run off to? Alright, so again, we'll have a look at this. We need some sort of key, right? There's a crowbar carved into the lock. So we're looking for like a crowbar key? That's why it's called the crowbar closet. Over here? Okay, that one opened. Something's actually stuck on the other side. Okay, so there's only one way to go and it's actually this way. I mean, it's a big, fairly open area, but you have to navigate it quite linearly. At least now. Right, so... Let's try this door first. Ah, it won't open. Again, something stuck on the other side. Right, we're gonna have to go upstairs. Is that where she is? I'm really quite nervous exploring this place. Especially when I see shit like that. Oh? Oh, the screws have gone rusty and the door won't open. Flint is not the answer. Maybe I could pry this open through the gaps. Okay, right. What the? Right. An old wooden board. Okay, well maybe this will do it, right? Let's try. Oh, oh I don't like that. Okay, right. Yep. I don't care about the screws. The door won't open. Yes, it fucking will. Right. There we are. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if this is really the time, but uh, a young key news journal number one. I was chatting with Saichi, waiting for my sister to get ready. He gave me a pearl hairpin, saying I would match with my sister and her hairpin. I heard neither you nor Ayano had ever laid eyes on the sea, he said. I thought the two of you would appreciate something from there. Considering how close the two of you are, I'd be delighted if you'd wear them together. As he handed me the hairpin, my face instantly flushed. I wondered if he could hear my racing heart and if my excitement was too obvious. I had to hide my face. It was the first time a man other than my father had given me a gift. Unlike my stern father, his voice was gentle and soft. I wished, I wished to have that voice by my side forever. And then he whispered into my ear, Isn't Ayano like a butterfly? With that, the blush from my cheeks was extinguished. The pounding in my chest subsided, as if my very pulse had stopped. He tenderly caressed the other hairpin intended for my sister, 
reminding me of whom his heart belonged to. Indeed, my sister Ayano is like a butterfly. She loathes being carried away by the wind and drenched by the rain. Touching her delicate wings would only result in pain. Ayano is beautiful, delicate, and fragile. I could crush her with my bare hands. For now, I'm still the only one who can be with her. I'm the only one who can place my hand upon that slender white neck. I am the only one. Ooh, Grandma! Right, okay. And uh, Grandpa actually liked your older sister. That's, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm beginning to understand the, the issues here. Right, where does this go? Oh, is this somewhere to hide? That's somewhere to hide, isn't it? Okay, cool, cool. Good to know. Okay. What we got down here? The holes in the floor are covered with boards, which I can't burn. <laughs> what the hell's this flint for? I can see the room below, through the gaps between the planks. Right, I guess that's our way down? Yeah, there's something on the desk. More diary, probably. What's this? Ah, more out-of-date painkillers. Lovely. Around here, then? Okay, we're on the other side of the blockage. What's over here? Money, right. <laughs> here? Uh, okay, it's not the crowbar one that we need, it's a butterfly key that we need, it seems. And that's going to take us into the butterfly closet, right, okay. Um, so, we're going to go down the stairs here. Towards the kitchen area, the servant room. Okay. Shit. Where is she? Is she behind me? Is she below me? In front of me? Crap. Oh, I think I just saw her. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just saw her there. There she is. Right, so she is in this room that doesn't have a name. Okay. Uh, it's probably best that I just leave her to it, really. Is she gonna move? I really hope she moves, just not in this direction. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Why am I doing this? Oh shit. Well, I'm not her, okay? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, what's that? There's something stuck in the pan. It, it's stuck in solid grease, and I can't get it out. Oh, well, what if we... Ah! Ah, oh, I can't start a fire without firewood. What about that... What about that board that you used? Is that still upstairs? I bet some fire would melt this away. I bet it would. I bet it would. Okay. I'm going to go this way. Uh, this would lead to a... Courtyard, I think? Of course there's a lock, and th there's a peony carved on this one. Bloody hell, it's turned to bloody Resident Evil now. And what's this? This one... Oh, okay, counting rods. I need a counting rods key? We, we just need a lot of keys. If I can find a key ring, that'd be ideal. Oh god. Oh, wow, okay. Right. What we got here? Oh, okay, somewhere to save. Some- <laughs> Okay! Doesn't make any sense that this is here, does it? Car racing? Oh, I might try that in a sec when I'm not getting my life threatened. Let's save. Jeez. Loads and loads of money. Right, okay, next move is what? Oh, that's the door that I couldn't... Wait, hang on, if I can maybe open that, that'd be good. Ah! That's why it didn't open. Right, okay, well, hey, now we've opened up a little bit of a shortcut. If I have to run, I can run elsewhere. Cool. Okay, something's stuck on the other side. Sounds like she's getting kind of close. Oh god. Right, I think she came down the stairs. 
Or I think she's coming down the stairs right now. She was real close. Maybe I can just give this a spin. <laughs> While I'm waiting to die. Okay, so we start at the bottom on this one. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, so again, we don't want to overdo it. Alright. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought I was I thought I was dead set going to that section on the right. This is uh this is actually a tough one as well. There we go. Alright. And then Hey, look at that! That wasn't bad. Okay, a yellow winning ticket this time. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm still in mortal danger. Oh, God. Hi! Oh, God, where are you going to? You're going over there and into the kitchen, are you? Oh, fantastic. I should... I should probably have a look at that area, honestly, because I'm kind of restricted to where I can go. So... Yeah. Am I gonna follow you? I guess I'm gonna follow you. Okay. Oh. Oh, no, 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 that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's the- Right, I'm gonna hide in here. She didn't see me- Oh! Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, my head! Oh, that- that affected me as well! Oh, that's it! Run! Yes! Okay! Just like I read, they can repel evil spirits and repel enemies who get close. However, each time the talisman repels an enemy, it consumes magic. When the magic is depleted, the color fades and it loses its effect. So I can't rely on that forever. In fact, I, I can't rely on that one again. Right, I'm going to save again. I'm going to save, if possible. It's not giving me that feeling anymore, for better or worse. But I can still save with it. Good. But... At least, you know, I, I scared her away for a little while. So maybe now I can have a little look around this area. This is where I saw her, right? A servant's lost item. Oh dear, oh dear. What should I do? I've gone and lost the key. I had it with me before I went to the toilets, but somehow I managed to lose it. If anyone finds out, I'll be doomed. Your cube will show no mercy. Is there something in the toilets? The lost key? Hmm. That toilet? Or that toilet? Or... No, I think there's only two toilets. Okay. I didn't see anything there. Haven't been over there yet. Uh, if I get access to the courtyard and go through... I... Yeah. There's gonna be... There's gonna have to be something around here that I can use. Oh, can I... Oh! I can hide here? Let's see. Okay, through here. What have we got? Firewood! Yes! Oh, more from my grandfather back in 1929. When I visited the Miyama family, I caught a glimpse of Ayano and Kinu walking together in the front yard. Ayano had an innocent girlish smile on her face as she talked to Kinu, but as soon as she noticed me, her smile disappeared. I had a faint suspicion all along who she has eyes for. Whose size she wishes to be by. And it's not me. Hmm. Sorry, mate. You're out of luck. Alright. Let's see. What else have we got? More money? Alright. Oh, is this a pump? Uh, yeah. It's a, it's a hand pump. It's rusty and it won't move, so burn it. No, that's not going to work. <laughs> Through here? No? Looks like a door. But it isn't one, apparently. That's alright. That's alright. Okay. Around here? I guess that could be somewhere to hide, potentially. Doesn't necessarily have to be in closets or, you know, chests, right? Wait. Oh, there's some money that I missed. There you go. Right, so let's put the firewood down. And let's see if we can burn that and get rid of the grease, right? 
There you go. So I'm hoping this is going to be a, some sort of key. Ah, oh, it stinks. Could this be... Actually, I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, it's the crowbar key. Okay, so I've got to go back on myself a little bit to go to the, the crowbar closet, right? Um, so, yeah, through here. Okay. So using that shortcut that I opened... It's going to be through... Yeah, through there and then to the right. Okay, here we are. Okay, so inside we find... Uh, complementing the plates. Okay. Uh, during our business negotiations, the plate that I had a look at was remarkable. At first glance, it may appear somewhat uninspiring to the eyes of a novice like myself, but I never dreamed that I would have such an intricate mechanism. Only when immersed in cold, clear water does the true beauty of the artwork reveal itself. And I am truly impressed. I hope to have the opportunity to see it again in the future. Right, cold, clear water. From the pump, that rusty pump? <sighs> Presumably. Are we going to find anything else? We better. A crowbar, a tool used to pull out nails. Ah, right. Okay, we're gonna be we're gonna be going through the the floor, through the ceiling. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. So we pull out these nails. All right. Okay. There you go. We can remove the boards, and well, I guess we're just gonna fall down, right? All right. So where's this gonna take us exactly? Oh, we're going to be in the servant room. Right, yeah, because we couldn't get through that door, could we? Okay. Cool. Right, so what have we... Okay, got a p &E key. I think I just heard her, though. I think she's back. Okay. Young Kinu again. I've started being mean to Ayano. I intentionally avoid talking to her, and I'm being unfriendly towards her. I love Saichi too much to not do this. No matter what I do, she never asks me why. Instead, on the verge of tears, she says, I'm sorry, Kinu, please forgive me, even though she's got nothing to apologize for. Today is autumn dusk. My sister and I ventured into the mountains from the path to the shrine to admire the colorful autumn foliage. I held my sister's hand tightly. She smiled with joy and squeezed my hand in return. She didn't hold my recent behavior against me. She's always been kind to me. Ever since we were children, we would sneak out during autumn. Together, we would watch the leaves turn crimson and the sunset paint the sky. As the chilly winds of late autumn blew, I could feel the warmth of our joined hands. But this will probably be the last time. Next spring, my sister will marry Saichi, while I will be married off to someone else. Kinu. The maple trees are beautiful. Let's do this again next year, my sister says this with innocent eyes. She torments me, unaware of the turmoil in my heart. The sister who has always been with me is slipping away. I couldn't put into words the horrific things I felt. Finally, I unleashed my frustration and revealed everything to her. I'll never go again. Why don't you go with Saichi instead? You don't need me anymore after all. I said those words, forcefully releasing her hand and walked away. I turned my back on her and kept walking, not wanting her to see the tears streaming down my face. From behind me, a faint voice whispered, Don't leave me. Pretending not to hear, I continued walking down the mountain alone. At that moment, I wondered if my sister Ayano was also shedding tears. Hmm. Ah! No, 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 no. Come on, let's get this door open. There we go. Right, right. We're going back up, actually. We're going back up. In here. Come on. Oh, she's definitely seen that. Yep, hi, hi. Yeah, okay, that wasn't very good, was it? <sighs> okay. Oh, oh, right. Well, it's a good thing I've got a load of painkillers, isn't it? Ooh, okay. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, down here, down here. What did I pick up? It was, uh... The pe uh, peony. Wait, that long lock that was down here? That one? Oh, boy. Yeah. 
Okay, come on, come on. Let's open this. Can we close it? No, I guess we can't close it. Right, where the... Right, I... I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just gonna get lost here. Oh, boy. Ah! Okay! <laughs> this is kind of rough, honestly. Okay. Oh, another one. Ah! Okay. Right, I've been here before. I... Oh. Oh? Ah! Jesus Christ! Okay, she just ran right through me. Was, I guess there's a save point on the other side. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, thank you for your protection, I suppose. She's actually quite hard to escape. Especially when you don't know where you're going. Oh, an oil can! Ah, right, yes, okay. And more money! Yes, wonderful, wonderful. You know what? Yeah, sure, I'll save. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be one hell of a long video, I think. I don't actually know how far I am through the game, but at this point, yeah, I do want to see if I can finish it in one. Okay. Oh, this is the- this is the other toilet, isn't it? Is there something down there, then? Is there a key? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Don't tell me they dropped the key here! Should I check? Yeah, check the toilet. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Not for anything else that's happened for this. There is something here, though. The counting rods key. Okay, that's uh, that's near the, the courtyard entrance that I just opened, isn't it? So, yeah, I can go back there. Right, let me just have a look at the map again. So, right, that was the bath area. Yeah. So, have we got access to the altar room, the library, and all these rooms as well? Hmm. Cool. Cool. Okay. So, had a look through there. Out to the courtyard. Yeah, all right. We'll have a look at this area in a moment. I just want to run straight over here and see if I can open the counting rods. Yeah, this one here. There you go. What am I going to find? What's it going to be? More of the journal. Okay, there's so much to read. It's been nearly 20 years since I left here with baby Yui in my arms. Yui's gotten married and I've returned to the Miyama family. I announced my return and they neither rejected nor welcomed me. Kinu responded with a simple, I see. Surely Kinu must have resented me, even if I had abandoned her for Yui's sake. I grappled with the guilt, even while living in town. I never forgot them, the sisters. I had resolved to return one day, and even at this moment, I'm still thinking of Ayano. Uh, Shimamura committed suicide, and I left the village, leaving no one in the Miyama family. Kinu has been Ayano's sole caretaker. She looks after Ayano every day, Although I've returned to the household, I cannot approach Ayano, let alone touch her. I can only observe them from outside the cell. Even in her state, Ayano's always thinking about Kinu. That's my biggest regret. Do I still envy Kinu even now? In my youth, I gazed upon Ayano and yearned to caress her fair skin and her silky hair. Yet, in the end, I couldn't even touch her fingertips. Even so, I simply cannot give up. My desire to see Ayano again consumes me. Yui bears a striking resemblance to Ayano. However, she's not the same person as Ayano. In the journal of my father in Yokube, which was discovered within the mansion, he talks about a cocoon. Had he found a way to bring her back? If the words written here tell the truth, then I will reclaim Ayano by any means necessary. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I've got a stepladder as well. Ah! What would that be for? Okay. Money? Money. Oh, you know, there was that, uh, what was it, the shrine? Yeah, there was the shrine that I, I, I couldn't reach something. I guess the ladder's gonna be for that. What else have we got? Somewhere to hide? Somewhere to hide, okay. <laughs> More to read, there's so much. On that day, I left my sister Ayano behind and descended the mountain alone. I was certain she would follow me. I anticipated her tearful apology, as she had done countless times before. But Ayano never returned. Why did I let go of her hand? If only we had gone down the mountain together, hand in hand, Ayano would still be by my side. 
I lost her due to my shallow jealousy. I've cried and lived in sorrow for days, and now I've run out of tears. I heard someone calling my name on a snowy night, so I looked outside. To my surprise, Ayana was standing in front of the gate. She had been wandering the mountains for a month, yet her kimono, sandals, and hair remained pristine and spotless. However, she had lost her ability to speak. I embraced her tightly, clutching her hand as tears streamed down my face. Ayano's hand was warm, the warmth I had once let slip away. I will never let it go again. And so you took care of her in her... in her state, let's say. The state that she now chases me in. Through here? Uh-huh, all right. Are we gonna find something? Maybe in here? Money? What's this? A spade, okay. We're gonna be digging? I guess we're gonna be digging. Because we're sure not opening doors. Huh. All right. Not seeing much else. Right, so. Straight ahead of me would be the library. There's an altar room to the left. And then there's these selection of rooms. Then we've actually explored this place. Alright. Something down here on the floor. Hiding the Mulberry Crest. Okay. The red Mulberry Crest was buried near the shrine, while the blue Mulberry Crest was buried next to the stone lantern in the courtyard. When I reported to Lord Kube after hiding them, he bowed his head and thanked me. It looked as if he uh, it looked as if a big burden had been lifted. He had a calm expression which I had not seen in a long time. After Lady Ayano's passing, Lord Kube would look constantly agitated. He hardly slept, always drowned himself in books, and always appeared to be reading until his eyes went bloodshot. That serene yet sorrowful expression left me with a sense of unease. Since then, Lord Kube has vanished without a trace. Okay, so there's a red and a blue crest. One's at the shrine, one's by the stone lantern in the courtyard. And I've got a spade, so maybe I should take a look. Oh. When I came home from work, I found Yui crying in the living room. I immediately went to check on her. I noticed her face in uniform was stained with blood, and in her trembling hands was a lifeless canary. It was the canary I had gifted her on her 13th birthday. When I asked her why this was, she said she was thirsty. So thirsty that she couldn't bear it, so she drank the canary's blood. I had hoped for her to have a normal childhood, but deep down I knew this day would come. I was horrified, but knew that Yui's heart would shatter if I did nothing. When I first held baby Yui in my arms, I made a vow to do anything for this child, much like her mother. She's my pride and joy. I told the weeping Yui that she inherited her bloodlust from me. I feigned silence to let it sink in. By shouldering the blame for Yui's bloodlust, I hoped to keep her grounded to the world. I offered my apologies through tears. Yui in turn urged me not to cry. After that, I began going to the butchers to purchase blood. Yui and I would drink it together, right. I've got this same ailment, right? I've got this same addiction. I'm really, really thirsty. I How long is it going to be before I'm killing chickens to drink their blood? What's this? There's two indentations. Okay. Not for step ladders, not for spades, not for oil cans, but for the crests, right? Okay. We'll, uh, we'll get to that. Somewhere to hide? Somewhere to hide. Okay. So, there's a stone lantern out here? Right, yes. Okay, that's the one that I was kind of running into as I was trying to, uh, trying to leave. Oh, there's a, there's, okay, there's the well bucket. That's good. There? Right here. My spidey sense is tingling. Let's dig here. Okay. I'm loving the fact that she does seem to go away for like five or so minutes after she gets shocked by the talisman. Right, there you go. The blue mulberry crest. So now I need to find the red one. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Right, I think she's she's back, and I think she heard that. I 
I don't know where she is, though. Is she coming this way? Shit. Right. Okay. Uh, I've got the oil can. The oil can, I think, is meant to be for the pump, right? I figure, while I'm in the area, I might as well do that. Uh-huh. There you go. Okay. So we can oil that up a little bit. Hopefully it, it's working again. Yeah, okay. It's making a lot of noise. Don't know if I like that, but... Uh, yeah, the water's running now. Hopefully it's cold and clear water, right? Hmm. Can I? No? <laughs> I don't want to soak the stepladder. And of course I don't want to use it with that either. Okay, I'll have to come back a little later on. Right. The... The shrine. This shrine here. We want to go to the well in the shrine, so we want to go... Yeah, we want to go through this shortcut and... Mm, around. Okay, this is going to suck. I really want to use the flashlight, but it's so dark without it, honestly. And of course here, there's no, you know, electric lights or anything like that. Whew. It's been a good game so far, actually, yeah. I enjoyed the demo, I'm enjoying the full game. Alright. She's right fucking there. Okay, from here, where is the best place to hide? It's maybe in the servant's room? Okay. To be honest, I didn't really get a good look around here, did I? Maybe I've missed something. Yeah, okay, it looks like I can hide there. Here? More painkillers, right. <laughs> I will probably need to use them. Right. Okay, I can hear her coming. I can hear her coming. Okay. She's... Just on the other side of the wall, I think. Oh. Okay, yep. I, I think she's sort of like heading towards the kitchen. I think this is actually now my chance to go. I don't know if I should run. I feel like I, I should probably run. But it's going to make some noise, isn't it? Okay. I fought the urge. I fought the urge. Okay, through here. Through here. Okay. <sighs> so, there's... Yeah, okay. The stepladder's got to be for this. Alright? Let's see. Yeah, I should be able to reach now. There it is. And that's the red one! There you go, so I've got red and blue, so I can go back to the the altar area, I think. That's good, that's good. Uh-huh. And while I'm here, in the area, might as well see what's down here as well. Yeah. That's gonna be another key, I guess, right? Have I got it? Yeah, it looks like I've got it. The left silkworm's wooden tag. Okay, so is there a right silkworm wooden tag? I guess. Where would I use that? Hmm. That I'm not so sure about, honestly. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. Is it here? It is here! Ah, so, okay, the right one is for the, the right handle. Yes, yes, I need the other key as well. That's fine, that's fine. I'll get it. I'll get it at some point. Right. Okay, now I've got to make my way back through. Uh, although I suppose I could just go straight through there and... Yeah. We never actually checked out the library, did we? Or the, the hall area. I should probably go and do that. Or not. Okay. Calmly, I made my way to a closet. And I'm 
And I think I'm going to reside here until I see her walk past. I mean, I, I kind of hope she walks past. Come on. Follow the light. <laughs> Come on. I don't think she's coming this way, is she? Okay. Slowly, quietly, and carefully, we're going to go this way. She's to the left. But she's coming back to the right. She might be coming this way now. In fact, there you go. That was to get her attention to actually come this way, but she shouldn't know that I'm here, right? I think we're about to find out. Hey! Right. Could you go, like, straight ahead of you, please? Go check out the well for me, okay? Because I think I'm done with that. Yeah. Yeah, no. No. Oh, no. Okay. It would be nice if I could get rid of her for a while again. But I've used all the save points, haven't I? Oh, you know what? No. When I first got into this area, there was a save point. I haven't... I haven't used that one, I don't think. I mean, that's an option. If she's chasing me, that's probably where I'm going to go. Right. Come on. Come on. That's it. Alright. So I just need to go through here into the storage shed. Is she following me? Ah, I think I lost her annoyingly. Oi! Hello! Come on! Yep, it's me! That's right! Okay, oh boy, this is really gonna backfire! Oh, whoa! Well, she just jumped in front of me! Okay! Yeah, that backfired, alright. Come on, come on. It was a good idea, I think. Oh, okay, now it's seeming like a less good idea. She's got some she's got some moves. Yeah, okay. Come on. There you go. Right, let me get through this time. That's it. Oh, I'm running out of stamina. I can barely make it here. Come on. Where are you? Come on. Come on, just a little bit further. Oh, I didn't lose you now. That's it. Come on. We're going to do this properly. This way. Come on. Take a good look at this. Go on. Oh, gee, okay. Don't hit me. All right. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. And away she goes. Okay. Is that going to lose its luster? Unfortunately, yes, it is. Oh. <sighs> So through here, and through here, here we go, okay. More painkillers, good, because I've... Oh, <laughs> I thought I had a little less than that left, to be honest. But I've got, yeah, I've got seven left. Somewhere else to hide here, okay, good to know. More to read, yep. I've received news of Ayano's return, yet I haven't been able to meet her since she first went missing. Despite my repeated requests to visit her, Lord Kubey only responds with, Ayano's unwell. In the midst of my dark and gloomy days, I was suddenly summoned to the Miyama residence. Lord Kubei stared me down with a grim expression. Ayano's afflicted with a severe illness. If you want to see her, you must marry Kinu and become part of the Miyama family. If you change your mind after, you will not survive. As long as I can be with Ayano, I don't care what happens to me. Without hesitation, I accepted his request. Ayano was in the depths of a dark cave, trapped in a dungeon. She was almost unrecognizable. 
the woman I had fallen for was no longer there. To be honest, she no longer seemed human. More terrifying than Ayano's appearance was Kinu. How could Kinu be fine with all of this? Inside the cell, Kinu sat by Ayano, smiling blissfully. A chilling sensation ran down my spine. Oh, she's getting what she always wanted. You. Alright. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so this is actually a wall. There's no sneaking through to the altar room from here. There's the library down here, though. Okay. And of course, another book. Because of course there is. <laughs> it feels like ages ago when we all celebrated Ayano's safe return. Shimamura, my friend and doctor, went above and beyond to help her. Ayano had been gradually losing her sanity, and her appearance was deforming. Watching my daughter mutate before my eyes, I, I was on the brink of losing my own sanity. How many times did I ask the heavens for her recovery? No matter how many times I called Ayano's name, she looked at me with her blood-red eyes. She tilts her head in confusion. She no longer recognizes me. Ayano has transformed into a monster. Amidst my fervent search for a cure, I stumbled upon an ancient document left by our ancestors, containing the term Princess Possession. According to it, Princess Possession is a condition that transforms women into monsters. And if we use a certain cocoon to treat Princess Possession, we can reverse the transformation, restoring her to her original form as a woman. With this cocoon, I am confident that I can cure Ayano. Well, it hasn't happened yet, seemingly. Oh. Hmm. How do we get into the library then, I wonder? Right. Uh, so, let's see. All the way around here, back to the uh, altar area, right? Hang on. Oh. Okay. Yeah, back through here. Um, let's have a look. So, the blue one goes in. Uh huh. It needs one more. The red one. Okay. The mechanism activated. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so there is some arrangement to it, and I think that arrangement is this. But I... Hmm. The water. It's the water, isn't it? This is what I need to run underneath the tap. Yep, okay, alright. BRB. Okay, so here we are again. Yes. Clear cold water, right? Ah, that's more like it. So there's a red, there's a blue, a green, and a, a, a black by the looks of it. Yep, that's it. Green on top, blue on the right, red on the bottom, black on the left. It comes together to form a mulberry leaf crest. And that, I think, is what I need to replicate in the puzzle. Oh, shit! Oh, bloody hell. Okay, why did, why does she have to be back now? Where is she? That's what I want to know. Where is she right now? Come on. Show yourself. Show yourself, but don't see me. <sighs> I guess I could go around to the north. Kind of like I did earlier. Head down to the altar that way. I don't know. Right. Where is she? I didn't see her. She's probably out here somewhere. Oh, I have to go around. Unfortunately, there's not a door right there. I'm going to have to really poke my head out here. 
Did I just see her over there? Maybe she just went around the corner. Maybe she's trying to have a look at the library or something? I don't know. This seems to be working, so I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing. She's not here? I don't think... And there is actually somewhere to hide right there, right? That chest. Okay, okay. This, this is looking good. This is looking promising. Right, I might actually have time to do this. So, it's green, blue, red, black. Okay. Like that, and then green, blue, red, black, clockwise. Done. Okay, that's... Uh, a Oh, that's the, that's the library key. Okay. All for that. All to get into the library. Okay. Well, hopefully in the library I'm going to find that right key. Yeah? That's going to get me through that... That entrance. Hmm. Hello? Grandma? <laughs> Ayano? You out here? She's to the right. She was probably by the toilets or something. Shit. I'm going to have to go through there, straight to the library. I think she's going to see me if I go straight there. <gasps> she noticed. She didn't notice that I closed the door, though. And I don't think she heard that close either. Come on, let's stick with this. Ooh. I think I'm actually going to get away with this. Okay, the library key, come on. Uh-huh, okay, it just sort of goes into the void there to get twisted around and... Yeah? Here we are, here we are, okay, so... Close the door. We're in the library. What are we going to find in the library? Ten yen, of course. Yeah, that's what I came here for. More painkillers. Okay, there's got to be something else, though. There's got to be something a bit more worthwhile. There's got to be a key, right? Someone to hide. And, of course, another journal. Uh, Saichi, agitated, told me he had discovered a way to cure my sister. What was the man thinking? He had once recoiled at the sight of my sister. He abandoned us and fled to town with Yui. I have never found Ayano to be ugly. No matter how many years pass, she remains as enchanting as ever. I've kept her hair long and sleek, and her lips red. I was always jealous of her beauty, and still am. Ayano is as beautiful as ever. Saichi is trying to separate us. Such a thing must not come to pass. I cannot bear it. I will not allow Saichi to take Ayano away from me. I threw my pearl hairpin into the well. I've tried to discard that thing many times, yet I could never bring myself to do it. I asked Saichi to retrieve the hairpin. He chuckled and assured me, Don't worry, I'll get it for you. I embraced Saichi from behind as he peered into the well to retrieve it. I drew him closer into my soft embrace. What's the matter, Kinu? I heard his gentle voice. It's nothing, I replied. Then, with all my strength, I pushed him straight into the well. That was the first and last time. I touched Saichi. Wow. The first and last time, and she pushed him into the well and killed him. Oh my god. Oh, that's it. That's what I was looking for. The right half of this key. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, oh, gee, what the? F okay. Right, we're going, we're going. Okay. Through here. In here. Can I jump in? Ah! Yes! And she runs right past! She didn't know! She didn't know! Oh wow! Oh my god! 
Your sister's a bit of a bitch, Ayano. You, I think, are probably the nicer one, despite you wanting to kill me. Okay. Hopefully, she's gone for a while. Hopefully, I can see if I can go back to the uh, the well and, and open the door nearby. I don't know if she's actually gone, though. I think she despawns when, you know, she gets hit by the save, but... Mm, and maybe she just runs away when you successfully hide. Well... Whichever it is, it seems like she's not a problem for me anymore, so we're gonna go through this door. Left and right are in place. And through we go. Wow, okay, we made it through the Miyama Mansion, and now where are we? I mean, I... hmm, I don't have a map for this area. Now I've got a map for this area. Oh, this is, this is the outside area. We're not done with this place quite yet. There's an entrance, a tatami room, a dressing room, a toilet. Keep... right. The sisters' rooms. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. What are we going to find? A save point. Okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Whew. <laughs> I've been recording for a long time. This is going to be a long video. Lots and lots of money there. Okay. We've got a, a chessboard down here. There's a checker tray with old man written on it. What do I do to you? No need to insult me. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's, uh... Transforming, I suppose. Ayano in 1933. I was awakened in the middle of the night by someone pounding on my door. I went out to see a panicked servant from the Miyama family. Miss Ayano, who had been missing since she ventured into the mountains, had returned. I couldn't believe my ears. Despite my disbelief, I trudged through the snow and arrived at the Miyama mansion, my medical supplies in hand. Miss Ayano was leaning against her sister, Miss Kinu. They were seated on a tatami mat. Miss Ayano was just sitting there, staring blankly. I was concerned about her mental and physical state, but upon inspecting her, there wasn't a scratch on her. It was difficult to fathom how she had spent a month in the cold, frigid mountains unharmed. Then a rather unsettling sensation washed over me. A month has passed since Missiano's return. She still doesn't speak and spends all day in her room staring into space. Whenever someone tries to talk, she only glances at them. However, when Miss Kinu's by her side, she seems to be happy. She leans against her with a smile. They're two sisters who lost their mother as a child. They must be like two halves of a whole. Lord Kyube mentioned she's a timid girl. I'm not surprised that she doesn't want to speak after that. But there seems to be something amiss. She drinks water like she's about to die of dehydration. She hasn't eaten or slept since her return. Furthermore, she doesn't even need to go to the bathroom. The cherry blossoms are in full bloom, yet Miss Ayano remains sheltered in her dark room. When did she last touch sunlight? Yesterday, Lord Kube opened the door to her room, intending to show Miss Ayano the cherry blossoms. However, as soon as sunlight poured in, something terrifying happened. Miss Ayano let out a piercing scream and crumpled to the floor. It sent shivers down my spine. Her skin appeared inflamed, as if she had suffered a severe sunburn. Beneath the damaged skin, I could see her raw, reddened flesh. Messiano keeps losing weight, but is somehow growing taller. Or perhaps it would be more accurate to say that her limbs are becoming elongated. She used to be petite, but now she's taller than I am. Furthermore, no matter what injuries she sustains, they miraculously heal within a matter of days. Her burns from the other day have completely healed, not a single scar remaining. Yet, there's something even more chilling than this transformation. There are moments when Miss Ayano stares at me. Her sunken, hollow eyes glare at me, as if she were a predator and I was her prey. My worst fears have come true. Lord Kyube has secluded Miss Ayano. She's in total isolation. Miss Kinu's burdened with the sole responsibility of caring for her. And then, tragedy struck. Missiano bit and fatally wounded one of the servants. She ate her. That night, I told Lord Kyube that there was nothing I could do. He pleaded with me. Please, do not abandon Iano. I couldn't stand seeing the anguish in the eyes of my dear friend. It felt as if my heart would tear in two. 
I found myself forging Wasayano's death certificate. A doctor should never do this, but for the sake of my friend, I had to. To conceal the murder, we used the body of a servant as a decoy. This is how we faked Miss Ayano's death. It was the only way to protect her from the public. Lord Kubey and I decided to confine her to the dungeon connected via the hidden passage. This is the fourth spring since Miss Ayano's return. She remains imprisoned within those walls. She survives by consuming the blood of chickens, cows, and sometimes even humans. Her once beautiful figure is no more. She is a mere shadow of her former self. Her nose has receded. Her left eye is punctured. In its place, multiple insect-like eyes have emerged. Upon her pale back, a pattern resembling the markings found on a silkworm have taken form. Nowadays, unless accompanied by Miss Kinu, I dare not approach Miss Ayano. Should I venture in alone, she would undoubtedly tear me apart. Miss Kinu told me, sometimes my sister experiences stomach cramps. I conducted an examination and noticed movement within her abdomen. Ever since Miss Ayano's return, I had noticed a gradual swelling of her abdomen. Initially, I attributed it to ascites caused by malnutrition, but to my shock, it appears that she's pregnant. If she is indeed pregnant, she has been so for six years. Nine years have passed since that fateful day. How much longer can I maintain my sanity? My dear friend Kube had vanished without a trace. Tonight, aided by Miss Kinu, we will extract the child from Miss Ayano's stomach. Her body has undergone too many transformations over the past nine years. She's incapable of giving birth. We have no alternative but to surgically open her abdomen and remove the child, a cesarean section. My body trembles in fear. I wonder if the child will bear any semblance of a human. The truth is, it will not be born of a human. And that is my mother. So I, I'm. My mother and I are silkworms. Of sorts. We're, we're monstrous silkworms. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. I, 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 I didn't call that. I definitely didn't call that. <laughs> of all the places to find this fucking game. No, this is not the time. Later, later. Oh, right. Through here? Okay. We're approaching the, uh, the sister's rooms. So whose is this? This is Ayano's room, and Kinu's is ahead of me. Okay. What have we got here? Ah, uh, the dresser drawer is locked, and there's a peony depicted here. Okay, so another peony keys needed, maybe? Oh, a, a mirror, right. Hmm. Oh? Okay, just money. <laughs> In here, we find yet more to read. The story of the trick box. Father gave us a trick box. He said, it's a rare toy. He told us that it was a box that would only open when turned in a specific order. Ayano was worried about forgetting the sequence, so we crafted a secret story to remember it. Once upon a time, there lived a nice old man. He found a mysterious boat in the mountains. Inside the boat, there was a princess. The old man cared for the princess, but she caught a disease and passed away. The princess's body turned into a pure white silkworm. The silkworm continued to spin its thread until it became a large cocoon. Right. So, I need to use the trick box with the... The, the chessboard, right? Hmm, again, I think some mirrors missing. Yeah, we've got mountain grapes depicted on this one. Right, trick box and mirrors, that's what we're looking for. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait, is this... It's another hidden passage? Oh, oh, wow. What? Oh, this is the burn part of the map, and it wasn't even, it wasn't even put on this map. Where does this go? I, oh man. Okay. We're gonna need the key, aren't we? A crane key. Okay, alright, I'll come back with a crane key. That looks very, very important indeed. Okay, back through here. Where's this trick box? Where are these mirrors? Alright. 
So this is a... It's a courtyard. We were walking around the courtyard, really, so... Let's see... Anything else? Surely. There's gotta be some... Ah! Yes! Okay, the Mountain Grape Mirror is down here. So, Mountain Grape, that'll be... This one here. Uh-huh. Did it open? It's opened it! Yui has died. Aegi informed me that she threw herself onto the railroad tracks two evenings ago. I knew this would happen. There was no way Yui, who bore such a striking resemblance to my frail sister, could bear it. There was no way she could. On that day, Yui came to see me alone. She was all dressed up, not unlike my sister would be. My feelings of disdain came rushing back. She was a spitting image of Ayano, who I both loved and despised. And she's a mere imitation of her. Yui had the same face and voice as my sister. Why do you hate me? she asked. Since she wanted to know that badly, I escorted her to the dungeon and showed her the truth. You are not my child, nor are you Saichi's. You were cut from the womb of that abomination. It's in the nature of a monster to crave blood. Out of pity, Saichi lied and said your bloodlust was from him. For many years, against his will, he had to choke down blood alongside you, a monster child. Finally seeing the truth, you turned speechless. She didn't scream. She didn't cry. She just stood there. I do not know what Yui did thereafter. I don't care about what happened to her. Wow. Mum. The daughter of a monster. Which means I'm... Exactly. Yeah. So this is the trick box. And yeah, it's got the following words around it. Old man, cocoon, boat, princess, disease, and silkworm. It makes a sound when shaken, as if there's something inside. Hmm. Okay. Alright. So, let's go around over here. What's that, another photo? Oh, picture three. Oh, oh, that's through the hidden passage, I guess. Or is it? No. no I don't know where that is. Hmm. Okay. What have we got here? Oh! It's locked! Ah, okay, um... Looks like it needs a key. Maybe the key's inside the trick box? That's somewhere to hide. More yen. And this is where we came through, isn't it? Okay, so, uh, was it... Hmm, yeah. Here it is. Here's the chessboard. So, hold on. Let's see, the story of the trick box. Old man, boat, princess, disease, silkworm, cocoon. Right. No. Uh-huh. Old man, boat, princess. No, it was disease, isn't it? Like that. Okay. So we just have to sort of go down the stairs here. Reset and do that in order. So old man, boat, princess, disease, silkworm, cocoon. Inside is a key. A golden key. Presumably for this. Okay. And that's the other mirror. Okay. So, around we go back to the sisters' rooms. And that's where the peony one goes. Uh-huh. I mean, surely anything would just weigh that down, right? I mean, <laughs> don't know if we really needed to get two of them. Uh, Ayano's journal, then. Kinu looks so sad and resentful. She said, Ayano, you look like a butterfly. This left me speechless. All I could do was hold back my tears. It pains me to see Kinu suffer because of me. All I want is for Kinu to be happy. But I'm not a butterfly. I'm more like a silkworm. I was given a mulberry tree in a warm silkworm room. I never needed to leave and always had someone to take care of me. My body dissolves within the cocoon and I dream without ever being able to fly. I merely cling to life. 
But so long as Kinu's by my side, I'm content. Considering Kinu's feelings, maybe it's better I leave this silkworm room. If I disappeared, Kinu could be with Saichi. Yet, I can't bring myself to leave. My marriage to Saichi is approaching, and the more I realize how little time we have left, the more I cherish my time with Kinu. I know what happens to silkworms once they leave the silkworm room. That is what I'm afraid of. If it were up to me, I'd remain by her side forever. The crane key. Oh man. This is actually really quite sad, isn't it? I mean, they clearly loved each other. Kini despised her at times, but stuck by her until... I guess she was strangled by her. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, let's save. Okay, two and a half hours in, bloody hell. Oh, I hope you're in for a long video. Right. Okay. Another area? The game just keeps on going, and so does the video. Alright. Oh, is this... Maybe this is... This, this is what I saw in that photo. Maybe not quite, but something like this. Where's this going? I guess I don't have a map, do I? No. Alright. Oh no, this is it. This is this is what I saw in the photo. It's another dungeon of sorts? Alright, this one's unlocked. I had no scribblings. Kinu abandoned me. Kinu was crying. Kinu hates me and loves Saichi. I don't want Kinu to cry. I want death. She is too pure. I cry and she hugs me. She shoots threads and we form cocoon together. In the cocoon, we dissolve and merge together as one. I'm being lost. I stop being me. I forget many things. Her memories replace mine. She keep eating me. I so thirsty. Give me water. Blood red water. You can tell that her mind's slipping the more you read. Who old man outside standing there? Ayano, he cries. Who is Ayano? I think it me? Old man enter cell. He stroked my head and cry. Kinu laughed and said, Bon appetit. Kinu gave me tasty water. She called me with gentle voice. I happy. Kinu's precious. Save me. Save me. I'm scared. I'm scared. I forget Kinu. She ate almost all of me. Who am I? Where do I begin? Please no eat memories of Kinu. Before I forget Kinu, kill me. Wow. I guess the the, the she's kind of like the, the monster part of her that's growing and growing and, and taking over. Oh? Oh wow, okay. So is this another save point? It is. Sure. But it's it's lost its power immediately. Oh, of course. Ma I'm like my grandmother and my mother, right? I am a monster. It's it's trying to repel me as well. That's probably why I said, oh, my head and stuff earlier, right? Shit. Is this open? It is. Oh, boy. Maybe she tried ending it all. Hmm. We're just examining, right? We're not jumping in? Good. This rope. Yeah. Huh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> What's this? Ayano was constantly vomiting blood. She has since stopped moving. She drank the blood I had prepared for her, knowing I had poisoned it. I had no other choice. I was sick and dying. Soon... I would be sleeping with the fishes. My frail arms were withered like a dead tree branch. This was the only thing I could do. Once I'm gone, who will care for my sister? Who will bathe her, trim her nails, and brush her hair every day? How will society treat her? They'll look at her with fear and morbid curiosity and call her a crazy monster. She'll be treated as subhuman. I cannot subject my sister to this fate. My greatest fear was forgetting my sister. My sickness grows and my memories are fading. 
Each night, I lay down with an unbearable headache. The anxiety crushes my soul. The nagging question of if I will even remember her in the next morning. I killed everyone. My father, Saichi, Yui, and even my sister. I was left alone with a noose. I'm dying in pain. I apologize. I know how my sister really felt, but I treated her poorly out of envy, despite knowing how vile it was. I admired everything about her, and this is why I despised her. My sister was the only one who truly understood me, despite knowing how cruel and merciless I could be. Yet still, Ayano cared for me more than anyone else. When the sun set, she would light up the house for me. She did so to prevent me from falling. My eyes and legs are old and weak. She would always gently massage my wrinkled, cold hands. Her mind's almost completely void of memories, yet she never forgot about me. And that's enough. We found happiness in our own way. We knew all things come to an end. Forgive me, as this was the only way to save my sister. I do not know what happened to her on that day. I do not know who the she she writes about is. But I, like her, also wish to dissolve in a cocoon and become one with my sister. So that- Whoa! The noose was for her. Oh, hello. Uh, apparently, yeah. Oh god. Right. How's this gonna work? What we got? Oh god. Ah! Oh! Okay. I, ah! Okay, the ceiling rock- <clears throat> The ceiling rock is supported by a rope. It looks like it's tied to a plank. So it does. Okay. This way? What's this? Oh dear! Oh boy. Right. Okay. Perhaps a strong enough force can break it. Right. There's one over here as well. Same thing? Maybe she's got the strong enough force. Ah! That works! That works! Okay, she- Oh, she's got to do this. She's got to do this to herself. Right. Come on! Grandma, over here! That's it! Ah, no, that's not exactly it, actually. No, I don't- I don't think that's- That's really what I'm after. Right. Uh... How are we doing, by the way? Okay, we've got nine painkillers. I'm good. Now I'm good. Right. Ah! Oh! Okay, that- that- that's definitely her strongest attack. That, I think, is maybe the one that has to, like, take these out, to be honest. Come on! Do it again! Do it again! She's gonna just attack me, isn't she? Yeah, fuck's sake! Oh, God damn it! Come on, over here! Don't! Jump! 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 That's it! Oh, okay, I'll take the hit! Oh, man, I'm really feeling it. Oh, okay. Am I good again? Okay, these painkillers are incredible. Okay. Okay, come on. Oh, okay, yep. It was worth it, right? It was worth it. Okay. The rock looks like it could fall at any moment. Okay. Let's try this again. Come on. Come on. Uh, hmm. I might need a little bit more weight on it. I, oh no, no! Whoa. Right. Sorry, Grandma. I must be really cut up, right? I, oh, she's still alive? How on earth are you still alive? Well, you're a monster, right? Like me. That's how we both survived. Oh, she's, she's still asking for her sister. She still remembers. Ooh. Yeah, um... I have a choice! I can kill her or spare her! I'm... I'm gonna see if I can do both. I saved, after all, right? Ah, oh, I... To start with, I'm gonna spare her. Oh. 
my uncle Bud. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do it. All right. Dad, I'm dropping out of college. My mindset, so don't try and talk me out of it. Minato, what, what's gotten into you? You've suddenly decided to inherit Kinu's house? Are you going to stay there forever like her? Yeah. This is where I belong. I want to stay here. And it looks like they're cancelling the construction of the dam. Please stop spouting nonsense and come home! I, I don't care if you drop out. I, I just want to speak with you. Dad, you won't ever understand. Because you're human. Forget about me and never call again. Oh man, I really feel sorry for him. Look at the time. I've got to make dinner. Ooh. Chicken blood, is it? I imagine you're both quite hungry for that. Oh, she's there. I'm sorry I was a little late. I bet you're hungry. I brought you dinner. Eat it while it's still warm. Have you been crying again? Kinu's been dead for a while now. Don't worry. There's nothing to worry about. From now on, I'll be with you. Forever and ever. And there you have it, one of the endings to Hollow Cocoon. So I'm going to be staying with her, at least until I can't fight my own transformation. Presumably, I can't fight my own bloodlust. Eventually, I think I am going to turn into her, or something like her, and I, I don't think there's going to be any stopping me. So, a, a merciful ending, but maybe not the best one? Maybe not the right one? I don't know. Pretty soon I'll go back and I'll get the other ending, but for now I want to say thank you very much for watching this video. It has been a long one, nearly three hours, so well done for sticking through it. I hope you enjoyed it. I've enjoyed this game a great deal, more than I thought I would, actually. Yeah, it, it really did escalate things after the demo section. Uh, it, it's been a very tense horror experience, and I've enjoyed exploring all these environments, solving the puzzles, finding all these items, trying to avoid her. Yeah, and the story, it, it got to me. It, it it made me feel things. Yeah, I, uh, I, I feel sorry for basically everyone involved in this case. Everyone's got the rough end of the stick. Real shame. But yeah, really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, all that good stuff. I'm going to go back and see if I can get the other ending. I'm going to go and kill my grandma. We're going to see what happens. I'm sorry, Grandma, but this time, I am going to kill you. Oof. Okay, one year later. And I'm back again? Did I ever leave? I wanted to speak with you. I will never forgive you. But still, I wanted to speak to you. I haven't told anyone about Ayano. Not even Dad. Ayano tried to save you, even after you poisoned her. She tried to take you down from your noose. 
she held you in her arms and carried you to the entrance. She was calling out your name right until the end. I know because I killed her. Or so I thought. Ayano has disappeared. Oh? I couldn't leave her corpse like that. I went back to give her a proper burial, but she was gone. Oh, leaving behind a cocoon. In her place. There was a huge cocoon with a hole in it, and countless white silkworms. Oh, wow. Perhaps Ayano is still searching for you. This place will soon be at the bottom of a lake. I won't be back. Goodbye. The gate. The Tori gate. There she is. That thing. It's her. Even if, like it, this thirst torments me for the rest of my life. No matter whose blood runs through my veins, I've decided I will live as a human. Grandma Ayano. Hmm. But how long is that going to last? I want to see what that looks like in like five, ten years. Probably not too pretty, honestly. And there you have it, the other ending to Hollow Cocoon. Which one did you prefer? I think they're both pretty good, honestly. I don't know which one I prefer. But yeah, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Again, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this, leave this video a like, and I was gonna say I hope to see you back in another video, but we're not done quite yet, are we? No. I've got some unfinished business to take care of, haven't I? Where did I leave my coins? Yes! I mean, it took me, what, like, an extra 20 tries, but I finally got a red winning ticket. Oh, man. That is truly a weight off my shoulders. There you go. Now I've completed the game. Wait, 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 wait. We are not done quite yet. There's actually two more secret endings I can get in this game. You see, when you complete the game, you actually unlock the shop and the bonus content. Those winning tickets are converted into points, and you can spend the points on various things like a tinfoil hat preventing aliens from reading my mind, and a butterfly key. It's got the tag with the crest of a butterfly on it. Let's go back and use those items and get those secret endings. If you have the butterfly key in your inventory when you reach this stage of the game, that means you can open this door here. Inside. You'll find something alluded to previously, but never found. A cocoon. A medicine made by great-grandfather Kube. It cuts off the reincarnation cycle. Those who swallow it are left with a hollow cocoon-like soul. Now holding the cocoon with you, get to the end of the game. And right as you're about to make your choice, you'll realize there's now a third option to choose.
眉から出てきてくれたんですね長かったこの日が来ることをどれだけ待ちわびたか母さんにそっくりだ And that's the first secret ending, but it's not my favorite. My favorite involves the tin foil hat. As you play through the game with the tin foil hat, you'll notice various changes. You'll find new posters, books. And maybe, if you're lucky, even get a close encounter. Near the end of the game, at the Miyama Mansion outhouse, you'll realize that there's some strange noises coming from the detached tatami room. Continue investigating and you'll realize it's actually coming from a hiding place. Where now, if you're still wearing your hat, you can pass through a secret door. まさかこれは我がオカルト研究会の憧れミステリーサークルなのかすごいぞこの目で本物のミステリーサークルが見られるなんてUFO? And for me, this has got to be the best ending, with the best credits music as well. So there you go, that truly is the end of the game. Thank you very much for watching Hollow Cocoon. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, and I hope to see you back in another playthrough very soon. See you then! You're her only blood relative. Lucky me. I really don't want to overdo this one. Ah! And I did exactly that. Okay, there's someone standing at the gate. Didn't notice that last time. There was someone there, right? Why do I keep on getting so thirsty? Because oh, you're alive? <laughs> hey there, guys. How's it going? You got any money for me? Oh! I'm so sorry. I'm Mary. I'm at the tobacco shop, okay. Yeah, I'd probably start smoking in her situation. Yes? Oh, whoa! There's a flashlight. Which you still don't want to pick up? Oh my god. I'll get some water from the kitchen. Just a coincidence, I'm sure. Alright. Oh boy. Hi! Who are you? I'm Minato. Oh, okay, yep. Here, isn't it? Oh shit! <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. I couldn't sleep that night. Whoa! <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I don't think I'll be sleeping tonight either, to be honest. Oh, boy. Hi. 
All right, so what we got here? Oh my god! Oh shit. Oh boy, that's not good. That isn't good. That's not good! It's a giant door with two locks for wooden keys. Or is it? It is. Okay, I can't burn the door. I'm really quite nervous exploring this place. Especially when I see shit like that. Ayano's beautiful, delicate, and fragile. I could crush her with my bare hands. What we got here? Oh, okay, somewhere to save. Some- <laughs> Okay, doesn't make any sense that this is here, does it? She didn't see me- Oh! Oh, oh. oh Jesus! Ah, no, 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 no. Go check out the well for me, okay? Because I think I'm done with that. Yeah. No, 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 oh no, okay. Okay, oh boy, this is really gonna backfire. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? she just jumped in front of me. This way, come on, take a good look at this. Go on. Oh, okay, don't hit me. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, oh, gee, what the? F oh, wait, is this, it's another hidden passage? Oh, oh, wow. She's gonna just attack me, isn't she? Yeah, fuck's sake, oh, god damn it. Oh, 